So this question says a circle in the xy plane has its sensor at negative 1, 1. So I am actually going to draw my circle here. Um, well, actually, I can't draw the circle, but I can draw the center. So negative 1 and 1. There's the center. The next sentence says line T is a tangent to this circle at the point 5, negative 4. So I'm going to draw that point on the circle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So five, one, two, three, negative four. So negative four. And as you can see, that's relatively quick. And we get a good a chance to see kind of a representation of that circle. So there's my circle and there's my tangent line. Okay. So this is technically a plug-in picture question, right? So I just drew a picture based upon the description. Now, I'd much prefer to have this in Desmos than to answer a question based upon my drawing, especially when it comes to circles. But there might be some things that I can figure out on my own here. Let's continue reading. Which of the following points also lies on line T? So let's see if my drawing is good enough to answer the question. So it looks like choice A is asking if the point 0, 6 fifths is on line T. This is line T. Uh, 0, 6 fifths, well, that would be like around there. That's definitely not on line T, so that's out. How about choice B? Choice B is 4 sevenths, so on my graph, that's 4 uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So four sevens will be around there. That's also definitely nowhere close to being on line T. So that's out. So that's been helpful so far. Choice C is uh, 10, 2. So is this five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? 10. And for me, 10, 2 would be right here. So not exactly on my line. But again, here's where, I, you know, I can't really fully trust my drawing. Because like, one, I know my circle isn't perfect. And two, I also know my tangent line isn't perfect. And that point is very close. So I actually, I actually kind of like that answer. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the right answer. And then choice D, 11, 1. So that's just going to go one more over to 11. Again, that's 10. And 11, 1 would be here. So that would be there. So that's a little bit further away from my line. So if I, if I had to choose, I'd say that 10, 2 is better. But again, this is 26. Time is probably running, probably running out at this point. Um, there's only one more question left on this particular SAT um, non-adaptive test. So if I only had you know, 30 seconds, 10 seconds or so, I would definitely choose C. But let's pretend like we had more time. Let's pretend like we wanted to be certain of our answer, right? So again, I'm gonna say that with just plug-in picture, we should get choice C. And even without my circle being perfect, the line being perfect, you can see that 10, 2 is the closest point to line T, and that's why we would choose it. But again, maybe I'm not so sure between C and D. So how could we be certain? Well, again, I want to use Desmos. Is there a way to get, oh, is there a way to graph both of these on Desmos? There absolutely is. So how, how can I graph the circle? Well, first of all, the equation of a circle is X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared equals r squared. The question did tell us the center. We know that h comma k is the center of a circle. So we have the equation so far then, x instead of minus h, we'd have plus one, because our h value is a negative one, so x plus one squared, plus y instead of minus k be y minus one, because k is plus one, so minus one squared. And then I don't know r, but I can find out r. Like my radius is the distance from the center to, let's call it that point of tangency, because that's the only other thing I really know about my circle is that point five, four. So how would I find the distance of that point? A lot of people might go the route of, find, of using the distance formula. I'm not mad at that. Sure, why not? If you're great at using the distance formula, go ahead and use it. I actually never use the distance formula. Instead, I always use the Pythagorean theorem in cases like this. I just turn that line into the, um, into the hypotenuse of a right triangle. Then I say, well, this vertical line here is five, right? If we count that. This horizontal line here is six. So there's my right triangle. So then therefore, to find that, um, that diagonal distance, I'd have five squared plus six squared equals c squared, which means five squared is 25, six squared is 36, 
25 plus 36 is 61. So 61 would equal c squared. Again, because that line is actually my radius, I'm gonna call that r squared for radius squared. And since I want radius squared, I'm just gonna just put a 61 here. All right, so there's my equation of the circle that I can just throw straight into Desmos. All right, how about the equation for the tangent line? Because again, the, the question's asking me for finding a point, like basically which one of these points is on the tangent line. Well, what do I know about the tangent line? I know that it goes through the point five, negative four, so I have that point. I also know that the slope of a tangent line is perpendicular to the slope of the radius of the circle. So the radius, the slope of this radius is, let's see, I already actually kind of found it. It's negative five, right? So rise over run would be negative five over six. So the slope of the tangent line would be the opposite reciprocal. It would be six over five. So I have a point, five, negative four, and I know the slope of the tangent line is positive six over five. So I can use that information along with slope intercept form of, an e of a line and figure out the actual equation of the tangent line, which would be, let's put the y value in. So I'd say that's negative four equals the slope, six fifths, the x value, which was five plus b. And then I'd have negative four equals six fifths times five is six plus b. Subtract six from both sides. Six is canceled out. This becomes negative 10 equals b. And now I have the equation of my line, which would be y equals six fifths x minus 10. So now I have two things. I have the equation of my tangent line and I have the equation of the circle. So now I'm gonna show you what that looks like in Desmos. There it is. So here's the equation of my circle. Here's the equation of the line. And you can see both of those very clearly. And you can also clearly see that this point right here is the point 10 and two, right? So that's a two right there. So that confirms it for sure, right? So you can see the video took a long time. Um, but of course, if you weren't explaining this to someone else, you would get there a lot faster. And the real beauty of all of this is I kind of solved it just using plug-in picture, right? So that you can get there very quickly just by drawing it yourself. But Desmos is also useful here. That's why I made this video.